According to reports, production has begun in the Czech Republic on the new Jessica Chastain film, The Zookeeper's Wife. The film is an adaptation of Diana, Diane Ackerman's nonfiction book of the same name, which was based on the diaries of Antonia Zabinski. The time is 1939. The place is Poland, homeland of Antonia Zabinski and her husband, Dr. Jan Zabinski. The Warsaw Zoo flourishes under Jan's stewardship and Antonia's care when their country is invaded by the Nazis. Jan and Antonia are forced to report to the Reich's newly appointed chief zoologist, Lutz Heck, played by Daniel Bruhl. The Zabinskis co covertly begin working with the resistance and put into action plans to save the lives of hundreds from what has become the Warsaw Ghetto, with Antonia putting herself and her children at great risk. How buy or sell the sounds of the zookeeper's wife. Here's the thing. As a Jew... I'm contractually obligated to buy a Holocaust movie. But let me talk. Why do you think I asked you on the show today? <laughs> but a couple of things about it. Um, Jessica Chastain, I like her, but she's never ripped my heart out the way Kate Blanchett or certain um, actresses have. Like, I feel like she's serviceable in everything mm -hmm. she does. So I'm not that excited about her. Also, the, the name of the movie is a little bit odd to me um we, oh. we were we were joking about it a, a little bit earlier um is it uh is it like the uh kevin uh, james <laughs> uh, Z Z Z Z that's what or, i thought or, when i first yeah. saw the title yeah or uh is it um the astronaut's wife meets we bought a zoo i don't know uh <laughs> so it, it's not the most compelling title and i'm not that excited about jessica chastain but oh and you know she runs a zoo and but she's and she's trying to save Jews. Here I want them to abandon the script and the actual story and make a movie about her training zoo animals to fight Nazis. I got the title for it. <laughs> What's it's it? called The New Jew Review. The, right? new, the new Jew Review the coming new, after you. The New Jew <laughs> Zoo Review. Bam. Oh, oh, there we go. Snap. Love the edition. Um, That's it. But, uh, Somebody make a poster. So I talked all that crap, but once again, I'm a Jew. It's a Holocaust movie. Yeah, I'll buy it. I'll go see it with my mom. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you. The title is a terrible title. Yeah. I, and that might be the name of the book based on the true story. I, I get it. But it does not work as a movie title. The title's got to go. I hope they change it. Yeah. I am actually a big fan of Jessica Chastain. I, mm -hmm. I, she did rivet me in The Help. I loved her in Zero Dark Thirty. I just like everything I've seen her in so far. And I really liked her in The Martian, too. But that's just me. Mm -hmm. But... The reason I'm going to buy this completely is I love stories about, look, in the midst of the worst that we've ever faced as a human race, in the, whether it's natural disaster tragedy or whether it's human-made tragedy as a result of evil or whatever, you find when you dig into those things the greatest stories of human courage, of human uh, kindness, of human generosity. It's within the most horrible things that you sometimes find the best in humanity. Mm -hmm. And I love these true stories like this, like these people running a zoo and then you know, risking their own lives, their spouses' lives, their kids' lives to help people facing unimaginable horrors. And because of that, and I love stories like that, I got to give it a buy. Right. <clears throat> Myself growing up as a Jew, I saw so many Holocaust films and just like the horrible, you know, p just people being buried in ditches and stuff that, yeah. you know, it affects you as a kid. You're like, wow, that's insane. And then you grow up and you, and you watch it happen in all these other countries all around the world. War is a horrible, horrible thing. And uh, the more you're reminded of it, the more you're always aware of like not letting it happen in other countries like here in America. You have to be a, aware of your rights as a human citizen and you don't let yourself being bullied by the government either federally or, you know, I'm just saying it's like this title, The Zookeeper's Wife, I, <clears throat> I get it. I'm going to buy Jessica Chastain, Chastain. You're right. She's no Kate Blanchett, but she's. Who she's is? good. She, yeah. yeah, who is? She's a good. She's a good actress. I did like her in Zero Dark Thirty. I thought she was good in The Martian, but you know, it depends on the material with her. You yeah, know, she rises or falls. So I think her getting this role will actually be interesting. I'm, I am interested to see how they integrate the zoo. The zoo family. You know, what, how are they? What do they do? How do they get the the people out of the Warsaw Ghetto? It, it sounds interesting as far and, as a World War II and film. And you both make great points because we need movies like <clears throat> this and a movie uh, like. Uh, 12 Years a Slave, yes. Selma, yeah. mm -hmm. and that tell these important stories of survival and overcoming and uh, it's, and so we don't forget them. And younger generations, they don't always read the books. 
But so having these movies to educate people and tell them about a chapter, an important chapter in the world that we should never forget. It's also important. really easy to forget that it's not that many years ago because time seems so weird and oh, yeah, it's not. Yeah. Like, it's like, oh, that's like four or 5,000 years ago. No, it's like only your grandpa or your grandma was alive and maybe their family members died during this. 